Hey there everybody, it is Bluego. Still trying to get used to my new microphone and I think I have the right settings so that my voice sounds the best and I think I finally found it. So, well, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So I kind of want to be talking about like the future of my YouTube channel or even like the just the future of YouTube in general because as many of you know, there's going to be new terms of service that are going to be coming upon us in about like December or even next year that might change the fate of YouTubers or like YouTube in general. But anyways, a lot of YouTubers are scared and I am kind of scared myself because I don't even know what the heck is going to happen when all these new changes come into order and everything because we already have the COPA thing kind of an act which is officially going to be rolling out possibly next year where you have to answer if your content is safe for kids or is it not. And while it may seem like, you know, such a simple question to answer yes or no, if it kind of goes into the wrong category, then the FTC could probably fine you for about like $40,000 or something, if I'm correct on that. And that's going to be a huge amount of money. Like, even for me, as a 22-year-old person, <laughs> expected to pay that much and be okay with it? Nope, I don't think that's going to be good for me. But even on the bigger note is that the new Terms of, Ser terms of Service, uh, the biggest statement that it does state is that your channel may be terminated if it is not found to be commercially viable. Very concerning to me, but my channel is not really making any profit, so I don't have to worry about that at least. So I'm good from that at least, so I don't really have to worry about anything really. But it's just the scary things that are be going to be coming in. Like, you know, a lot of people saying that it's bad, a lot of people saying it's not as bad, but I where I'm standing right now... Like, I don't even know what's going to happen, but quite frankly, I'm pretty scared what's going to happen, really. <laughs> Scary things could happen if you, like, you know, violate the new terms of service or, like, the new COPA acts that you could lose features to, you know, like, talking in live chats or being able to have, like, you know, super chats or being able to super chat. Or you could even lose abilities for your videos to be recommended to other people on YouTube, which would be the biggest heartbreaker even for me if that all of a sudden just happened to me for no apparent reason because it looks like a lot of these things are going to be automated by an automated bot which is what the demonetization bot is and yeah it's not really going to work as well it's it's not going to work that's that's not going to really work as well but it's just like what is going to be the future of my channel if this ever goes down this path where it's going to be all like shadows and darkness as everybody is saying it with like the new terms of service and anything like what am i going to do if this ever happens to me like, what are my backup options? Well, I mean, you know, if I can't use my YouTube, then there's at least my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash BlueGhostTF, by the way. But I was also kind of thinking of firing up a Patreon, maybe? If anybody was interested in that? Because I know Patreons are pretty good resources for content creators, too. I would have to, like, you know, rack up some rewards for people that, you know, support me on Patreon. Like, maybe I could throw in a free, like, you know, Blue Ghost sweatshirt or a free t-shirt uh, that features yours truly on it. But I kind of need to, like, you know, whip up some rewards, you know, to make it, like, you know, rewarding for the Patreons that, you know, want to support me or anything. Like, you know, some free Blue Ghost merch, as I said before, or, you know, whatever else. Maybe some copies of Titanfall 2 or maybe some copies of other games or, like, you know, some Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order giveaways if you support me on Patreon, if I ever get that up. But, you know... I could definitely whip up some rewards and see what I can go from there. But it's really a scary thing to be thinking about because obviously we don't really know what's going to happen. And I can't really, you know, like say and predict the future. I'm like, my channel's going to die if this goes in. I can't really predict the future. and Nobody really can. But the scariest thing that we have to do is we have to wait and see what happens. And that's going to be the, the tough part of it. It's like, I want to know what's going to happen. Everybody else wants to, wants to know what's going to happen. But I think the best thing that we can do for now is just wait and see, see how it goes. And before you know it, Maybe it's not so bad after all, because a lot of people have been saying it's not going to be that bad. But at the same time, kind of a scary thing to be thinking about, you know. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, so uploads on YouTube might be a little slower than usual. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get back into streaming Twitch, but I'm distracted by Jedi Fallen Order. I'm trying to grind Jedi Fallen Order to beat it on Grandmaster difficulty. and I'm also distracted by other things. Uh, in life and I'm trying to you know just like get back on the twitch grind again but it's kind of just been a little distracting for me at the moment anyways guys um hopefully stuff will turn out to be better in the future for us and I will hope to see you guys in the next video love you guys take care peace